Greetings. My name is Brian. I am the Lung Coach. Welcome to my Heart to Lungs website and my Asthma Education Home Study Course. I will be overviewing ways to help manage asthma, especially for young patients, pediatric patients, children. Uh, this video is designed with parents in mind on helping you manage your child's asthma and teaching them the ways to manage it on through adolescence and adulthood. This is very important. Asthma is a very serious chronic condition that is the most number one created. It is a very serious chronic condition that affects about 7 million children in our country today. Asthma is diagnosed with over 25 million people and about 3,300 people die per year from asthma. So it is a very serious condition. And because of that, I decided to create this home asthma study course for people who can't get in and get their providers to do this education but only can go for their regular checkups, which is very important in asthma care. So if you haven't taken your child in lately, please schedule your regular appointments because that's important in helping manage their care from attack to attack, decreasing symptoms, helping them sleep, helping them perform sports and athletics, and overall quality of life for them. And I know all parents want the best quality of life for their children, so I've provided this course to help educate and help provide some helpful tips and uh, strategies on managing asthma, especially in children. There's a couple of things we're going to talk about, but first I want to go over just an overview of the respiratory system and my specialty. I'm actually a respiratory therapist and I currently work in Denver, Colorado. So I work in the hospitals and I see a lot of asthma and COPD and heart disease and uh, diseases that causes heart and lung disease. So I want to talk about the heart and lungs real quick because it's very important to understand this when you're talking about asthma and what it's doing, it's actually impeding your respiratory system uh, and it's your own immune system sometimes with allergy related asthma or it could be irritant related with a smoke, cigarette smoke is one of the biggest triggers for asthma or it could be even things like an allergy to uh, roaches. Cockroaches uh, can trigger asthma especially with inner city children um, the, the dead bodies and feces of roaches is one of the biggest causes and triggers in pediatric or asthma attack in children. So we'll talk about that a little later, but first let's talk about your heart and lungs and why it's so important to have your airways and your heart deliver oxygen to your body. Basically it helps provide you with energy. And a short overview of this, very very brief an overview, uh, is you breathe in oxygen through your lungs and it's absorbed into the arteries in the lungs and vasculature. Let's start over. We're going to go over a brief overview of the respiratory system. Very brief. But basically, what happens is when you take a deep breath, you absorb oxygen into your lungs and that oxygen is absorbed through airways into tiny little air sacs and then into red blood cells. Those red blood cells travel to the left side of the heart, the left atrium. There's four chambers in the heart. We're going to start with the left atrium and that oxygen is absorbed through the pulmonary veins to the heart and it is feeding blood into this left atrium which squeezes in blood goes into the left ventricle, the left side of the heart still. And that left ventricle is actually the strongest part of the heart because when it squeezes, it pumps blood through the aorta to the entire body, to your brain, to your muscles, to all your tissues. So as it travels through the body, it's absorbed by cells in capillaries. And these capillaries take the oxygen from the red blood cell and deliver it to every cell in the body that uses oxygen. So this is basically how we use uh, blood or oxygen from the environment into our body, into our little cells. And that's all throughout our body. And in these cells, it exchanges that oxygen and it takes back CO2 
which is the byproduct of producing energy. And that CO2 is delivered through your veins back to your heart. And as it reaches your heart, it reaches the right atrium. So now we're on the right side of the heart. You have the left side of the heart and the right side of the heart. And this CO2 red blood cells are delivered to the left or right atrium, squeezed into the left ventricle. This left ventricle squeezes the blood and then delivers it to the pulmonary arteries to the lungs. And so to the lungs, it delivers the CO2 and then it changes back from the red blood cells into those little air sacs and into the bigger airways of the lungs. And you exhale, CO2. So those are two very basic processes and I want to overview this because it's very important later in a lot of the lessons is that your body uses oxygen to produce energy and we expel CO2 when we exhale, the byproduct. Now, when this is impeded by such conditions like asthma, which is a chronic lung disease, you never get cured of it, you never grow out of it, uh, symptoms may decrease, but you still have those triggers that can create the symptoms of asthma. Now, when we talk about the symptoms of asthma, we're gonna talk about spasms in these airways from the muscle constricting down. We're going to talk about mucus building up in the airway and we're going to talk about inflammation in the airway which is like when you get a scratch and it becomes infected or inflamed or you know any type of redness or swelling is the type of inflammation that can happen in your airways with asthma. So we're going to cover that more on the other videos, the lessons. I just wanted to introduce myself and cover the respiratory system, my specialty uh, as a respiratory therapist and the lung coach as we continue forward in this asthma education program. Thank you and I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the first lesson, the four components or pillars of asthma care. Thank you.